Hello YouTubers, you're watching Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create the YouTube play symbol in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with I've got my new document, I'm going to select the rectangle tool and just left click and drag on the artboard to create a four-sided shape. Something like this that looks rectangular. Now we're going to swap the fill on the stroke so we have a solid black fill and no stroke around the edge. Now if you're using a CC version of Illustrator you can drag from these little circles here just inside from the outside anchor points and that will quickly and easily round off the corners. Once you've done that go up to the Pathfinder palette just click the top left button which is Unite and it will finalize this effect so you can no longer easily edit that corner radius but it will save any complications from happening when we come to manipulate the shape in this next step. So with your shape selected go up to Object, down to Envelope Distort and then select Make with Warp and you should see this dialog box pop up. From the top here you've got a whole list of different styles that you can have fun playing with but for this tutorial we're going to look at Inflate. So make sure that you have the preview box ticked. We're not going to change the horizontal or vertical distortion in this video and we just want to adjust the bend here. So it will start on 0% most likely and you can just increase that and you'll see that it inflates the shape or you can deflate the shape and it will bend inwards. We just want a slight inflation, probably about 10%. So when you've got something that you're happy with, you can click OK. Now you can edit this effect up here. You've still got all these options along the top that will allow you to edit this effect. And you can click this icon here and it will open up some other envelope options if you need them. But for now, we're happy with this shape. So we can go to Object, Expand, leave Object and Fill selected and click OK. Now this is our final shape. So we've created the outline for the YouTube player symbol. So now we can select over here, click and hold down to select the polygon tool, left click anywhere on the artboard and select three as the number of sides and you can give the radius any value, it doesn't matter for the moment. Click OK and it will create a triangle. Now use the rotate tool and hold shift to rotate 90 degrees and we'll just give this a different color for now. Now we want to align these two objects together so that the play symbol is in the middle of our rectangle. So we'll select both of these shapes with the selection tool and along the top of the screen you've got the alignment options. And we're going to select horizontal align center and then vertical align center. So there we go, it's now in the middle. And what we can do is we can select our rectangle and I'm going to double click on one of the red swatches, select global and tick the preview box and then adjust this to the color. Now I don't know the specific value for the YouTube red so I'm just going to make a guess using my eye, something like this, possibly, maybe, hopefully. Now I'm going to bring the size of this triangle up a little bit. So I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift to scale up from the center and then just drag from one of the four corners like so. Now because of the nature of a triangle inside this four-sided shape, if you center a triangle horizontally and vertically, whilst technically it is centralized, it can sometimes look a little bit off center, a bit too much to the left. And that's because the bulk of the triangle is all over here and we have a little bit of negative space here. And this can give the illusion that it's actually closer to the left edge. So what I do a lot of the time when centering objects like triangles is I will center it so that technically it is in the center, but then I will just nudge it a little bit to the right. And this may take a bit of practice and you might need to train your eye to be able to spot this. But then for me now, that looks much more centralized to look at. Sometimes you just have to go by eye and just trust your instinct to get things in the center. So there we go. I'm going to select this now and we're going to make that white. Now, one last thing we're going to do, 
and you'll definitely want your smart guides on for this so you can go up to view and down to smart guides just make sure that you've got this little tick showing here and we're going to select the pen tool and we're going to create the slight inner shadow effect on the triangle so you see with your smart guides all these little green guides pop up that help you snap everything in place and we're going to start by clicking on the right hand point of the triangle so we're going to go click drag that up to the top you'll see it snaps in place click down to somewhere about here you'll see that it snaps nicely along that line so we'll click on that line and then you'll see here the circle appears next to the pen tool and that indicates that we're going to complete our shape so it makes it very easy very dot to dot to create a new shape and for this new shape we're just going to select a light grey and then what we can do is just select everything go up to object and group it all together so we can move this round now as one shape and there we go we've created the YouTube player symbol in Adobe Illustrator as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and I'll see you next time